inflationary gap and deflationary gap part 2 at the very outset i would like to say well in advance we have been treating the aggregate demand curve of the three sector economy so far from now on let us use the aggregate demand curve of four sector economy here the components of aggregate demand are C plus I plus G plus X minus M. I am doing this mainly to make our analysis more comprehensive. Okay. Our part one video ends by identifying the full employment equilibrium. At full employment equilibrium, all the resources are fully employed. Economy is producing potential output. Output cannot be increased anymore. These are the two key points we have to keep in our mind to understand the concepts inflationary gap and deflationary gap. With this, let us proceed further. What is inflationary gap? Look at this graph. The economy is in equilibrium at EF. A new investment is undertaken in the economy. The aggregate demand curve is shifted up. The new aggregate demand curve is C1 plus I1 plus G1 plus X1 minus M1. The economy cannot move to point E1 because there are no more resources to expand the output beyond YF. YF is the potential output. The economy moves up vertically and operates at point A. Well, what are its implications? The output is OYF. OYF is equal to YF EF. This is aggregate supply. Economy's expenditure is YFA. This is aggregate demand. Aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply. There is a gap between aggregate demand and aggregate supply. This gap is called inflationary gap. This is also known as excess demand. So, inflationary gap or excess demand is a situation that arises when aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply when the economy is at full employment equilibrium. We shall turn to deflationary gap. See this graph. The economy is operating at EF. Full employment equilibrium. There is a fall in investment. The aggregate demand curve is shifted down. The new aggregate demand curve is C0, I0, G0, X0 minus M0. The economy moves down vertically to the point B. What shall we infer from this? The output is OYF. OYF is equal to YF EF. This is aggregate supply. Economy's expenditure is YFB. This is aggregate demand. Aggregate demand is less than aggregate supply. There is a gap between aggregate demand and aggregate supply. This gap is called deflationary gap. It is also known as deficient demand. We shall understand the deflationary gap as deflationary gap or deficient demand is a situation that arises when aggregate demand is less than aggregate supply when the economy is at full employment equilibrium. Well, you must understand that inflationary gap and deflationary gap are to be understood with reference to full employment equilibrium. In the next video, that is in part 3, we shall see the factors causing inflationary and deflationary gaps.